Hey y'all, this your girl Shawnee Cole and welcome or welcome back to Cole Hustle. Hey Cole Hustlers. Alright you guys, so today we're going to be doing a reading on Jamie Foxx. Um, this is just an updated reading on him to see what's going on. You guys, me personally, I do not feel like Jamie Foxx is himself. Um, I haven't felt like that for a long time. I don't know what has happened to Jamie Foxx. But this person that we're seeing now is not the real Jamie Foxx. This is a clone. This is a clone. And I'm going to keep saying that. Um, this is for entertainment purposes only. All things here are all alleged. Okay? This is for entertainment purposes only. So do not go and harass nobody for these readings. Okay? Please. But let's just do a quick reading on Jamie Foxx's spirit. Give me the energy around Jamie Foxx. First of all, I'm going to ask the question, is this the real Jamie Foxx spirit? The Jamie Foxx that we are seeing now, is this the actual Jamie Foxx? Okay, you guys, so this is what we have. We have the Queen of Swords here. We have the Four of Wands and we have the Hermit card. Um, to answer the question, is this the real Jamie Foxx? Me personally, I do not feel like this is the real Jamie um, looking at these cards. this, As you can see here, this person has on armor and they're almost like robotic. Um, this represents maybe a robot taking the place of Jamie Foxx. It looks like Jamie, but the person behind it has red eyes. You know what I'm saying? Also, if you take a look, you see butterflies here. Butterflies represent metamorphosis, change. A change has taken place or a transition has taken place here. Okay? Just notice this. You have a skull. This person, every time I ask about Jamie Foxx and a reading that I'm doing for someone, I always see this skeleton here in someone's hand after dark i feel like jamie fox is either somewhere hooked up or you know somewhere where his brain is being utilized or i feel like he is no longer here but we do have a false jamie the four of wands represents people not supporting this people not believing this and then we have the hermit card here this talks about jamie fox maybe even being under some type of maybe spell because the Hermit card does talk about teachings and learnings. He may be um, very much so going on a journey somewhere. Maybe he's taking a vacation. But it doesn't feel like he's anywhere where he wants to be. It feels like he's somewhere he has to be alone. This is not the Jamie Foxx that you guys think it is. Okay. Um, how is Jamie mentally? How is Jamie Foxx mentally spirit? We're going to put these back as well. How is Jamie Foxx doing mentally? Jamie Foxx. How is he doing mentally? Currently mentally. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. And then we have the Ten of Cups in reverse strength card i feel like jamie um you know is in a state of protecting his energy the strength card popped up in the back of the deck and the strength card always talks about a person sometimes sometimes it talks about a caretaker for someone so maybe he is under the care of someone but this is not jamie who we see walking okay jamie seems to be under some type of care um maybe a caregiver is with him or it feels that, you know, he's being very protected right now. The Knight of Swords comes up here in the reading. And the Knight of Swords talks about a person, you know, um, being excited and moving quickly with something. Um, but not totally thinking of themselves and what this could do to them. The potential of this family. What this could do to the family. I am seeing some sort of separation happening in the family. And it has something to do with Jamie's finances. With this nine of pentacles here. The ten of cups in reverse shows maybe some type of dispute going on with the family. Or this may even be literally Jamie splitting up from his family. 
How's Jamie Foxx mentally? It feels like mentally he's... Jamie, there's something that has happened that he is regretting, accepting. There also shows an energy of a person escaping somewhere. And then you have the Three of Pentacles in reverse here, which shows me that um, people are not working together. This is teamwork, effort, and the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. Um, I do feel like there is some opportunity or something that Jamie has signed up for. And I think that he he accepted something and he's just taking it for what it is because there's nothing he can do about it. It's almost like something that's completely out of his control, okay? With the Eight of Swords, it feels like Jamie might even be in an imprisonment energy. Either he's literally locked away or it feels like he's escaped somewhere. And he's right now just not being seen. He's in solitude, working by himself. Or it feels like he may have two other people that have been working with him, but now are working against him. Um, let me get a couple of... Ooh. Do you see this? Being yourself is sacred. It just popped out the deck. That tells me even further that this is not the real Jamie, okay? Being yourself is sacred. And also, do you see this? This looks like a DNA strand. His DNA is going somewhere else. Y'all see this, right? This is like a double helix. This represents DNA. Being yourself is sacred. Something about Jamie, he doesn't feel like this is him. Or he feels like he's trying to tell us that something is wrong. Um, what else about Jamie Fox Spirit? What other message do you have about Jamie at this time? Emerge. I'm seeing a person growing and emerging to a different level. And then one more. I'm also seeing here about loving your dark side. And interesting enough, there actually was a dark side tattoo um, on that other card that I had. And there's a releasing energy here. So Jamie Foxx, he really wants to heal and be better, but it feels like these people are putting out an image that is not him. And he doesn't know how to do anything about it, but just accept it for what it is, okay? So that's just a quick reading on Jamie Foxx, you guys. Leave your questions and comments down below. Make sure that you subscribe so that you can be um, here for the next video. And I also will be going live very soon. So make sure that you guys are subscribed because I will only have it in subscriber mode, okay? Um, also, if you guys would like to book a personal reading with me, I do have a website where you can book. Um, cohustletarot.myshopify.com and also make sure that you guys purchase the ebook that I have put out. This is my very first ebook. It is $10 and it does teach you how to read tarot. This is for people who want to learn tarot and also those who just want to know it for self purposes um, so that you can utilize it on yourself every day. Um, you can purchase it for $10 and it is the first, the major, um, the major arcana which is the first 22 cards of the deck. So make sure that you guys check that out. It is on the website for $10. Get yours today. And I will talk to you guys on the next video.